Yeah, I be really chillin', I be in the zone Praying up to God that I really make it home Cause I know the opposition's really want me gone I've been making money moves, yeah, I'm steady on my phone What's up guys, it's your boy Ty Skits here And today we're back with another Car X Street video In today's Car X Street video, I'm gonna be showing you guys How to get 13,000 street coins and over $1 billion dollars in credits so if you guys enjoy this video drop a like share the video subscribe and turn on post notifications for more great content and with that being said let's get straight into it dollars so it's really really simple all you want to do is go to data and then or no you want to go to your c drive or wherever your program files are the file that you're going to need for this hack or this glitch is going to be down below in the description. I'll have it linked to a Google Drive. Also, this isn't my game save. I'll link the guy's YouTube channel that I got this from. Um, he actually is the one that made the video. I did not come up with this video on my own. The guy's name that made this uh, is called Sim Racing Sarma. So that's the guy's name that actually came up with the uh, user data hack or whatever this is called. but. All credits to him i did not come up with this but basically what you want to do i didn't walk you guys through any of that sorry so what you want to do is you want to go to file explorer you want to go to windows c program files x86 you want to go to steam you want to go to user data and then you want to click on the folder here you want to find the folder that says 4150 and it's going to show the most recent time that you opened car x so the most recent time i had it open was like 732 which is a couple minutes ago you want to find your storage uh data just like this and basically what you want to do is you want to drag your uh storage data over here which i've already did it so i'm not going to do it but you want to save your original save data okay once you save your original save data you want to drag the one that's gonna it's gonna when you download the file that's in the description it'll say rename to your player data all you want to do is literally take this you want to rename you want to copy this and then you want to go ahead and paste the player data name right there and then load your game up all right so we're loaded back into the city as you guys can see we got the tesla i just bought the dlc for the tesla in case you guys are wondering how i got it uh because i know a lot of people are going to be asking oh how'd you buy the tesla but it's for a dlc i bought it it was only like two dollars so i was like why not it's two dollars like fuck it and this is a game that i play for youtube so I can make a video of me like drifting a Tesla. That'd be dope. But as you guys can see, you have one million dollars and thirteen thousand street coins. Now I want to keep this video short, so I'm not going to talk too long. But basically, what this allows you to do is it'll put you at level fifty, so you'll be level fifty, so you'll be able to buy like basically anything. You'll be able to upgrade your cars and do all that fun stuff. Now, one theory I was wondering would work is if you could use the money to upgrade a car that you already have and then uh switch back but you cannot upgrade a car and then switch back so i don't think that you can like load in and use one of your cars upgrade it and switch it back because like it shows your cars like in here like this is one of my cars that i have but because you've overwritten the save data it's gonna it's just gonna show that it's the car that you had on your other save data but it's really not so don't be fooled um but this is a good way if you like like i said if you want to just have fun build cars and like experiment maybe brag to your friends that you have like one of the most expensive cars while they're still struggling i don't know do what you want to do with it but that being said i'm gonna switch back and i'm gonna show you guys that you can also switch back to uh your original save data and getting sideways in the tessie but uh here i'm gonna go ahead and quit the game and uh let's switch it back so you just want to do the same thing you want to go ahead i want to go close this and restart the whole process really quick it'll close okay so what you want to do is you want to go to your folder or your files you go to windows c program files x86 you want to go to steam user data you want to go here and then you want to go to the 4150 folder click on remote I'm going to go ahead and take out the, uh, actually, no, I'm just going to delete. I'm going to delete this because this is the one that's not the real one. I'm going to delete the fake one. And then I'm going to put, this is my original data right here. I'm going to replace and put my original data back in. Now let's load the game up and see if I have all my stuff back. And so we are now back in the game. Let's go ahead and press start. So as you guys can see we now have all of our original stuff back i'm back with the three million and 
1400 street coins i'm back to being a pleb and being broke in the game but as you guys can see it is totally safe i mean i, I wouldn't say totally safe but I would say that if anything does go wrong, as long as you save your original player save data, you should be fine. So, like I said, uh, I don't take any responsibility for what you guys do with this. I'm not responsible. Use at your own risk. Uh, one thing I would not suggest is going online with that and building cars and racing against people. I wouldn't do that. Uh, you could get banned. I know they crack down on a lot of like the mods and things like that and like hacks or glitches whatever So just be careful be smart guys. Don't you know, don't do anything dumb But with that being said, this has been your boy Ty Skids playing Car X Street showing you guys how to become rich Or should I say how to become a billionaire instantly and I will catch you guys in the next one Peace